Pedro and Cher, a judge ordered the suspect held without bond. The suspect did not enter a plea in court. And while we are learning more, law enforcement says motivation for the attack still isn't clear. As a community grieves victims of the devastating July 4th parade mass shooting, officials say the alleged gunman confessed to police. He went into details about what he had done. Uh, he admitted to what he had done. The 21 year old suspect making his first court appearance on video, charged so far with seven counts of first degree murder. After authorities say he climbed on a rooftop in downtown Highland Park, armed with a legally purchased semi automatic rifle, opening fire on the crowd. 83 bullet casings recovered before his Illinois arrest, fleeing to Wisconsin, where officials allege he considered another attack. He did see a celebration that was occurring. In Madison, uh, and he seriously contemplated using the firearm he had in his vehicle to commit another shooting. Questions mounting about why the suspect was allowed to buy guns despite previous alarming 2019 police encounters, including a report of a suicide attempt and reported threat to, quote, kill everyone, leading officers to seize knives. Later, his father sponsoring his application for a state permit required to own guns. I think the person that has potential legal liability is the father because it is a form in which you vouch for someone. Tonight, some survivors of the rampage are missing loved ones killed right beside them. Two-year-old Aiden McCarthy losing both his parents in the attack, over two and a half million dollars raised by a GoFundMe. Just sad that here's poor little Aiden now do you call him an orphan? And Eduardo Uvaldo killed his wife, shot but surviving. The couple recently celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. We lost our, our rock. My dad was everything. Lauren, uh, what are we hearing about the charges? Share that there are going to be many more. The state's attorney saying for each person hurt, which is around three dozen, people can anticipate an attempted murder charge. He also said every time the gunman fired a bullet at any person, he was committing aggravated discharge of a weapon, whether he hit someone or not. What he wouldn't say is whether they're considering any legal action involving the suspect's father and the dad's lawyer told the New York Times it was perfectly legal for him to sponsor the gun permit for his son, saying the father may not have understood what happened with those knives that were seized because it didn't happen in his house. At six, what we're learning about final acts of heroism during the shooting for now, I'll send it back to you. Lauren, you mentioned the shots fired. By the way, more than 70 rounds mm -hmm. were fired at the unsuspecting crowd below. 83 casings were 83. covered. 83. Yeah. Look at that. Thank you.